Hi, this is Kevin Pawlowski, Application Specialist with Chemtronics. Today I'm going to take you through the best practices of cleaning printed circuit boards with a flux remover. A flux remover cleans off flux left behind after the soldering process. That's important because flux residue can cause corrosion or create what's called dendrites, which are ionic particles chained together between contact points. Dendrites can cause current leakage or even short out the board. Isopropyl alcohol is the most common solvent used for removing flux, but Chemtronics offers flux off brand of cleaners that can do the job more efficiently and effectively. One common way to clean off flux is to wet a swab with isopropyl alcohol and wipe it around the solder joint. This isn't the most effective way to clean a PCB because it often moves around the residues. Keep in mind that flux residues don't evaporate off the surface with the solvent. Residues like that have to be physically removed. I'll be demonstrating with our popular aerosol packaging. Aerosols have the advantage of being sealed, so they are always free of contamination. They don't evaporate away as they sit on your bench, and the pressure provides extra agitation. Remember to disconnect power to the PCB, including any onboard batteries. Also make sure you use proper procedures like grounding yourself with a wrist strap to avoid static that can damage sensitive components. I suggest you use safety glasses, and if you're sensitive to solvents, you might consider using nitrile gloves. Solvent cleaners will have a tendency to dry out your skin. Without a straw or brush, you can spray over a wide area of the PCB. This is a good way to clean the board overall, or as a final rinse after the cleaning process. Always hold the PCB at an angle so the solvent and the residues have a chance to run off. If you need to clean specific areas of the board, keep the area wet with solvent. Flux residues that are only partially dissolved can settle down to form white residues, which can be even more difficult to clean than the original flux. If you keep the board wet, it will make it easier to rinse everything off at the end of the process. You'll want to focus the spray over the solder joint areas where residues will be more concentrated. Allow the solvent to flow around and under the components for more thorough cleaning. Every can of flux remover comes with a little extension tube or straw. This allows you to spray with pinpoint accuracy. It also increases the spray pressure for more agitation. Feel free to trim the straw if a shorter one is easier to work with. You first insert the straw into the spray button or trigger sprayer depending on which product you have. Make sure you point it away from your eyes in case it accidentally sprays. You can use a straw to focus your cleaning on one area of the board, for example around a component you just replaced. For the most thorough cleaning method, spray around each corner of the component, which drives the solvent under it. Then spray over the leads. Finally, remove the straw and spray over the entire area. If you have an aerosol can with a trigger sprayer, the straw can be stored in the back or under the trigger to lock and prevent accidental spraying. Otherwise, it can be snapped into the top of the cap. When you have stubborn flux residues, you can use a brush or a swab or a wipe to provide extra agitation. Remember, if you do that, make sure you finish off with a rinse. Some flux off flux removers come with a brush attachment. The solvent flows through the brush so you can scrub and saturate the area at the same time. You have two ways to use this brush. You can directly clean around components. Just pull the trigger to release the solvent as you move the brush over heavily fluxed areas. Make sure you gently scrub so you don't damage the fine leads. Keep the area wet as you go through your cleaning process. When you're done, remove the brush and give the PCB a final rinse. If you have a very isolated area to clean, you don't want to risk cross-contamination. You can use a wipe to absorb the flux residues. Simply place the wipe over the component, pull the trigger to release the solvent, and scrub through the wipe. This breaks up the flux residues and allows them to absorb into the wipe. I hope this demonstration has been helpful to you. If you run into any problems, feel free to call or email us or go to chemtronics.com.